Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through PHP regular expressions. Guys, initially I, only I am saying I am not clear. I am not hundred percent clear with this topic, guys. So I'll be just introducing you the topic and I'll be giving some some small small examples as per the theory, guys. Because I am also not having a clear idea on these things. So if you are searching for a particular video that I want hundred percent clarity on this thing that thing, so this is not the right video for you. Okay, so let us continue. Okay, so basically regular expressions. So I think most of you heard about the word regular expression, right? So we already discussed about this in ALC, guys, in the subject ALC. That is nothing but automated language computing. So in that we discussed about regular expressions. So basically, in simple words, if you even didn't complete that subject or didn't learn that subject, so you can even just think a small thing, guys. Okay, so basically to find patterns, we'll be using these kind of regular expressions. So assume that I want a pattern zero one. Okay, so I want this repeated times, so I'll be using star symbol. So that is like zero one star means zero one star means repeatedly writing zero one. Okay, so that's just a small example, guys. We'll be going through some examples so that we'll be having a clear idea. Don't worry. Okay, so regular expressions. Regular expressions are nothing more than a sequence or pattern of characters itself. Okay, so basically those are nothing but patterns like zero one zero one zero one one zero one zero one zero one 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 two 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 two. Sorry, don't write two 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 one zeros only. Okay, okay. So they provide the foundation for pattern matching functionality. So we'll be using these for pattern matching. So using regular expressions, you can search a particular string inside another string. Okay, so assume that zero one one zero one one zero zero. So now I am searching for a particular pattern of a one zero. So I want to know whether it is in the string or not. So in this way you can find. So here it is. So in a particular string also you can find these kind of patterns. Simple, right? Yes. Okay, inside a string you can replace one string by another string, and you can split the strings into two many chunks also. So you can do multiple operations also. Okay. So in PHP, functions specify two set of regular functions. So those are nothing but you can use po. For six regular expressions or Perl style regular expressions, okay, guys. I'll try to give maximum information about these two things because I'm also not having that much idea about these things. I'll be also, I will also be just giving you an introduction. So please make sure that you are reading the theory properly, okay? Because in examination, even if you write some kind of tables and everything, you cannot get that much marks as explaining in theory, okay? Okay, so I'll be reading it, but I'll be trying to explain also, okay? So the structure of for six. Regular expression is not dissimilar to that of a typical arithmetic expression. Various elements operators are combined to form a more complex expression. So here I told you, right? So zero one star. So this belongs to this regular expression. So in that we will be using numbers and operators. So that's what it is saying. It is simple to use. Yes. Okay. So let us go through some examples only. That will be better. So zero to one. So zero to one. Zero to nine. So zero to nine are nothing but zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are all the decimal numbers which we can use. And a to z is nothing but small letters. And capital A to capital Z are nothing but capital letters. Okay. So hence we can say that we can select all the letters from a to z, small a to capital z. Simple. Okay. So now let us go through some expressions. So I was saying regular expressions, expressions, expression. So you might be having a doubt that what are these expressions? Okay, so the first expression which will be going is p plus guys. Okay, so plus what plus is nothing but we will be taking at least one item guys. So at least one p should be there. Okay, so that could be an expression in this way. So here we are having. Okay, in that way. Similarly, p star star is nothing but a zero or more guys. Okay. Similarly, p question mark question mark indicates that zero or one. So basically, we did discuss about plus and star in our previous subject ALC, but we did discuss about the other things. Okay, so question mark indicates zero or one. Okay, whereas n indicates the natural number series, whereas two three indicates that two or three like specific numbers, where two indicates two comma. This is empty space is nothing but infinity, guys. So two to infinity. Sorry. So at least two. Similarly, p dollar is nothing but from start to end, guys. Okay, power p is nothing but at the beginning. In that way, at the beginning you should have and dollar means at the end, guys. I told you from two up to end, right? So it is at the end. At the end you, there should be a p like xp, xpp. Whereas here px in this way p should be at the end, at the starting. Okay, so in that way. 
okay so if you take some kind of small small examples so if you notice here we are having an upper arrow so basically it should start with a and it can be a to z and a capital a to z so it can be of any letters but it should start with the small letter and it should end with capital letter simple logic okay whereas p dot p okay it can be of any format and similarly we are having again like this we are having some examples guys okay so you can go through the examples okay similarly let us go through some more uh, kind of expressions we are having guys so that is nothing but here we are having colon colon guys please go through them guys i did uh, try to understand them but i didn't get that much understanding about them guys okay okay similarly you are having also in a pearl regular style expressions guys okay okay so here we will be using match so p r e g match so it will be checking for a particular match okay function search for a string for pattern returning the true if existing and false if otherwise so it will be checking for that particular match only if it is there it will be returning true like internal matches also so assume that 001100 you are searching for 11 in it so it will be saying like match all means it should match exactly replace to replace a particular part a split is nothing but to divide it into two parts g grip is nothing but a function to search elements of an input array returning all the elements making the regroup expression so whatever are matching it will be extracting them okay so in this way it will be working as guys i didn't give that much in that much explanation because uh, because i am also not having that much uh, idea on these things guys okay so in the next lecture we will be continuing with php sessions guys thank you thanks for watching